Grenfell and the UK Cladding Crisis, England The Grenfell Tower Fire in London exposed a national scandal in 2017. Flammable aluminum composite cladding had been installed on thousands of high-rises. When fire raced up Grenfell's exterior, 72 people died. The building industry's drive for cheap refurbishments had quietly created a tinderbox across the UK. The aftermath? A nationwide inspection and remediation program. Tens of thousands of residents were trapped in unsellable homes until dangerous cladding was stripped off. The estimated national bill? 16.6 billion pounds, with the government pledging 5.1 billion pounds and developers covering much of the rest. SR-99 Bertha Tunnel Breakdown, USA Seattle built the world's largest tunnel boring machine, Bertha, to dig a highway under the city, but only 1,000 feet in, Bertha struck a steel pipe left from old soil testing. The 17.5-meter machine overheated and stalled. For two years, crews dug a massive access shaft to lift and repair her cutter head. Costs soared by $223 million in overruns. Lawsuits flew, and completion was delayed until 2019. The tunnel works today, but Bertha's breakdown became a global lesson in planning for the unexpected underground. Miller Park Crane Collapse USA. In July 1999, a 567-foot crane nicknamed Big Blue was lifting a 450-ton roof section into place for Milwaukee's new baseball stadium. Wind speeds exceeded safe limits, but that detail was ignored and the lift continued. The crane buckled and collapsed, killing three workers and causing fiery explosions. Construction halted for months and lawsuits followed. A jury awarded $99.25 million in damages to the victims' families, later settled. Cologne City Archive Collapse, Germany In 2009, as Cologne was building a new subway line, the excavation walls failed. The city's historic archive, housing 1,000 years of priceless documents, collapsed into the pit. Two people were killed, and irreplaceable medieval manuscripts were buried in mud. The disaster sparked a recovery operation lasting years and costing 1.1 billion euros in compensation and reconstruction. Engineers later traced the cause to diaphragm wall construction errors. Teton Dam Failure, USA In Idaho, the Teton Dam was an earthen embankment built in the 1970s to harness the Snake River. On June 5, 1976, as the reservoir filled for the first time, muddy leaks appeared at the right abutment. Within hours, a massive section of the dam collapsed. A 70-meter wall of water thundered downstream, killing 11 people and destroying 13,000 cattle. Towns and farmland were obliterated. Federal compensation alone topped $300 million, with total damages estimated up to $2 billion in 1976 dollars. Castor Gas Storage Project, Spain In 2013, Spain attempted to convert an offshore oil reservoir into a massive natural gas storage site. But when gas was injected, the seabed shifted, triggering hundreds of earthquakes up to magnitude 4.3. Residents panicked, operations were halted, and the project was mothballed. Developers were compensated 1.35 billion euros, financed by taxpayers. Today, the empty platform still sits off the coast as a monument to failure. I-35W Bridge Collapse, USA Rush hour traffic, August 2007 in Minneapolis, turned deadly when the I-35W Bridge over the Mississippi suddenly gave way. 13 people were killed, 145 injured. Investigators found the gusset plates. Steel connectors holding the trusses were undersized, a design error dating back to the 1960s. Overweight loads of construction equipment on the bridge deck tipped it over the edge. The replacement St. Anthony Falls Bridge was built in record time for $234 million. Hard Rock Hotel Collapse, USA In 2019, a new hotel under construction in downtown New Orleans began to shudder. Floors pancaked one by one, and the upper levels collapsed onto Canal Street. Three workers died. Investigations revealed improper design changes insufficient shoring, and poor oversight. The unstable structure stood half-demolished for over a year, its wreckage looming over the city. The city itself spent over $12 million in emergency costs, while demolition ran another $8.4 million. Kansai International Airport, 
Japan. In the 1990s, Japan built a man-made island in Osaka Bay to house Kansai International Airport. It was an engineering marvel, but it was built on a soft alluvial clay, and everyone knew it would sink. Engineers estimated it would settle about 19 feet over 50 years. Instead, it dropped 27 feet in just the first decade. Billions of yen were spent pumping grout into the seabed, jacking up the runways, and protecting against typhoons and storm surges. The total cost has swollen to $20 billion, far beyond the initial estimates. Ottawa LRT Sinkhole, Canada In 2016, downtown Ottawa's main street collapsed into a 10-meter-wide sinkhole. A new light rail tunnel being bored beneath had destabilized the soil, swallowing cars and cutting gas and water mains. Construction halted for months. The city filed insurance claims totaling 361 million Canadian dollars for delays, repairs, and lost revenue. The LRT project limped to completion years late, plagued by further breakdowns. Millennium Tower, USA The 58-story luxury skyscraper opened in 2009 in San Francisco with million-dollar condos and celebrity residents. But instead of anchoring piles into bedrock, engineers used friction piles into clay. Within a few years, the tower had sunk over 16 inches and tilted more than 17 inches to the northwest. Residents sued, values plummeted, and engineers scrambled for a fix. The retrofit, sinking piles down to bedrock and stabilizing the building, cost more than 100 to $120 million. Today, the tower stabilized, but its reputation remains permanently tilted. Brumadino Tailings Dam, Brazil In January 2019, a mine's tailings dam suddenly liquefied and collapsed, unleashing a wave of toxic mud that buried homes, roads, and 270 people. Investigations showed drainage systems had clogged, and monitoring records were incomplete or manipulated. Vale, the mining company, agreed to a $7 billion settlement with the state of Minas Gerais. The disaster also forced a global rethink on upstream tailings dams, many of which were quickly decommissioned. Boston's Big Dig, USA Boston buried its central highway in the 1990s to reconnect the city, but this wasn't just a tunnel. It was a perfect storm of mismanagement. Contractors poured concrete with salt-contaminated aggregate, causing leaks everywhere. Tens of thousands of ceiling panels were later replaced. Worst of all, in 2006, a panel weighing several tons fell from the ceiling, crushing a car and killing a passenger. Investigations revealed the epoxy anchor bolts had been poorly tested, prone to creep, and installed wrong. What began as a $2.8 billion project finished at $21 to $24 billion with financing. The tunnels work, but at the cost of an entire generation's debt. Oroville Dam Spillway Collapse, USA In February 2017, a 200-foot crater tore through the spillway of America's tallest dam. Water thundered into eroded bedrock, undermining the entire structure. Engineers scrambled to shut down the flow, but an emergency spillway also began eroding dangerously. Nearly 188,000 people were ordered to evacuate downstream. Helicopters dumped rocks to stabilize the collapse, while crews worked 24-7. Ultimately, the repair bill reached $1.1 billion. The failure traced back to thin slabs, poor drainage, and weak rock never reinforced properly. Elp Philharmonie, Germany Hamburg's waterfront concert hall began with a 77 million euro estimate. The striking glass sail atop a historic warehouse required entirely new engineering methods. Contractors fought, lawsuits erupted, and redesign after redesign added years of delay. When it finally opened in 2017, the price tag was 866 million euros. The hall is stunning but it became one of Europe's most infamous budget blowouts. Aon Center Reclad, USA When it opened in 1973, the Aon Center was the world's tallest marble-clad skyscraper. Thin Carrara panels gleamed brilliantly, until they began to bow and crack under Chicago's freeze-thaw cycles. A forgotten detail that Italy's climate was gentler on the material, chunks of marble literally fell off the tower. The fix? Recladding the entire 83-story building in granite at a cost of $80 million, more than half the original construction cost. Walkie Talkie Tower, England 
20 Fenchurch Street quickly became infamous. Its concave glass facade focused sunlight into a deadly beam that roasted London sidewalks at 70 degrees Celsius, melted car panels, and fried shop signs. Engineers scrambled to apply temporary shading, but the permanent fix was installing a massive aluminum brise soleil, costing millions of pounds. Today, the tower is known less for its offices than for its nickname, the Walkie Scorchy. Plant Vogtel Units 3 and 4, USA Georgia's Plant Vogtel pressed ahead with the same AP-1000 reactors abandoned in South Carolina. Construction started in 2009 with promises of $14 billion and online by 2016. Instead, quality control nightmares followed. Modules arrived with bad welts. Subcontractors were swapped out midstream. Safety systems had to be retested and rebuilt. Each delay triggered more financing costs. By the time Unit 3 finally entered commercial operation in 2023 and Unit 4 in 2024, the total bill had doubled to 30 to $35 billion. The reactors work, but customers will be paying higher rates for decades. A nuclear renaissance became the most expensive power plant in U.S. history. Olkiloto 3, Finland In 2005, Finland proudly broke ground on Europe's first next-gen EPR reactor. It was sold as a turnkey fixed-price contract, 3 billion euros, guaranteed delivery by 2009. But concrete poured into the foundations didn't meet spec. Welders had to redo joints deep inside the containment shell. The automation and safety systems turned out incompatible and required redesign. Lawsuits piled up between the plant owner TBO and the builder Areva Siemens. The final result? Completion in 2023. 13 years late and a cost balloon to 11 billion euros. Even though the plant is now running, it nearly bankrupted the supplier. Flaminville 3, France France's showpiece EPR reactor at Flaminville was supposed to be a 3.3 billion euro model for the future. However, during construction, inspectors discovered flaws in the steel of the reactor vessel head. Later, welds on the main steam lines and primary cooling system were found to be defective. Repairing these deep inside the containment required extraordinary access work, redesign approvals, and years of retesting. New safety rules after Fukushima added further redesigns. The project's cost soared to 19 billion euros, nearly six times the original budget. To this day, it's still not in commercial service. The VC Summer Nuclear Expansion, USA In the mid-2000s, South Carolina bet on nuclear revival. Two brand-new AP-1000 reactors were supposed to bring cheap, clean energy and secure jobs. It was a $9 billion dream, but management became a flow of mistake after mistake. Prefabricated reactor modules arrived from factories warped and out of tolerance. Construction teams spent months cutting and rewelding parts that should have been slotted together. Westinghouse, the designer, couldn't deliver an integrated construction schedule. Work fell further behind each year. In 2017, after Westinghouse filed bankruptcy, the utility partners finally pulled the plug. More than $9 billion had already been sunk into the site, leaving behind half-built cooling towers, empty turbine halls, and years of political lawsuits. The reactors never produced a single watt. Berlin-Brandenburg Airport, Germany Berlin wanted a gleaming new gateway for the 2011 travel boom, but got nine years of global ridicule instead. The most infamous flaw was the fire safety system, a reverse draft smoke extraction plan that literally pulled smoke the wrong way. Thousands of sensors were miswired, emergency doors were mislabeled, even the escalators came up short, ending half a step below the floor. The opening was delayed year after year as engineers tore out entire systems and rebuilt them. By the time Brandenburg finally opened in 2020, the cost had tripled to 7 billion euros. Salesforce Transit Center, USA When it opened in 2018, the $2.2 billion Salesforce Transit Center of San Francisco was hailed as the Grand Central of the West. Then, inspectors found two massive steel beams cracked, forcing the entire center to shut down just weeks after opening. The cause? Flaws in fabrication and inadequate weld access holes that caused stress fractures. Repairs cost millions. Lawsuits flew and the embarrassment was immeasurable. The station reopened in 2019, but the fiasco tarnished what was supposed to be a jewel of modern infrastructure.